All right, so today we're taking a look at Expedition 33 and Ultra Wide. Now the game does support native Ultra Wide and Super Ultra Wide. Uh, you will have to set it to uh, borderless window uh, if you want the game to detect your uh, resolution. Uh, currently there seems to be a bug even though um, I have DLDSR enabled. Uh, when I'm picking that resolution, it just reverts back to default of 3440 by 1440p. So if you want it, you have to change your desktop resolution to, and then change the game to borderless in-game and it should pick up the, uh, the resolution that you want. So hopefully that gets uh, sorted out soon along with some other bugs. Uh, right now, um, ultra wide, everything looks good. Menus, gameplay. Uh, the only thing black bar that I've seen so far is the pre-rendered. Uh, unfortunately, they went with this cinematic look, so you're going to get black bars on all four sides during pre-rendered cutscene. But uh, for a normal gameplay cutscene, uh, everything is in ultra-wide, and it looks fantastic. Speaking of cutscene, now the uh, cutscenes are locked at 30 frames. I don't know why uh, so many games does this, but uh, the cutscenes are currently locked at 30 frames. However, there is already a mod out uh, very quickly done by the uh, ultra wide modder, Lyle. Uh, along with, there was a, apparently a bug that uh, after battles for some people, um, the screen would zoom in to the character and uh, it looked very, very off. Fortunately, that has also been uh, resolved by the same modder. So uh, all the link is in the description, okay? And um, yeah, I was uh, I did not experience that. I was asleep. Uh, the game launched uh, midnight my uh, part of the world here, and uh, fortunately everything has been resolved. Um, uh, the developers are aware of the issue, so hopefully that kind of get it sorted out for everybody else too. All right, so let's move on to the uh, the game itself. All right, performance-wise, it runs actually okay. Um, I was a bit concerned with the prologue as that area was a bit more populated and uh, the game was uh, running a bit heavier than I expected. But after the prologue, they were, the, the game ran just fine. Um, there is DLSS and upscaling. Uh, however, there is no FSR. Um, but there is the Intel one, oddly. So, uh, but yeah, there is uh, upscaling. Uh, however, no frame generation of any sort, so you will have to use other means if you want uh, frame gen here. So at first I was using the controller to play as the game recommended uh, uh, using it. And also the game does have some QTE, so it's always better to use the controller. But however, uh, I went back to switching, I switched over to the keyboard and mouse and you can play that this game absolutely fine. I'm not really sure why they... Uh, have that mess at the very beginning but uh, you can play this game perfectly with the mouse and keyboard um, it flows pretty well uh, however um, you're just not gonna get those obviously those uh, those nice rumbles and uh, things like that but I uh, completely fine playing with the mouse and keyboard and you can also rebind everything uh, including to the uh, the mouse key as well all right so if you're still on the fence um, you haven't already picked it up uh, or decide if you want to get it on game pass for a month um, first uh, impression is very solid uh, this game uh, original soundtrack is absolutely amazing um, especially during the uh, more emotional scene uh, the music is, is just perfect and also the uh, combat uh, even though it's turn-based but it just feels really engaging as the um, just a simple adding uh, a parry and uh, uh, dodge during the enemy turns and actually adds a lot to the combat even though it's, it's just a uh, turn base but um, excellent music excellent uh, voice acting uh, from the the main cast so even the minor ones all, all really well done and cast uh, I will say Ben Starr uh, is really good in this one I can't even tell that that's him uh, he's done a really good job of masking his voice and uh you know this, this is not going to be a very popular opinion but i really did not uh, find his performance that great in final fantasy 16. i loved it when it was in the young clive um his performance there but uh the older clive i thought he was a little bit uh overacting but uh he is excellent in this one then and so is the rest of the cast so voice acting music absolutely superb just from the opening prologue, you can tell that this game is going to be special. Um, also, the um, the premise is pretty unique as well, and uh, 
not having known any of or watch any of the gameplay or any of kind of the the trailer um apart from the initial reveal uh going in blind is is really the way to do it uh it is just uh, everything has been really refreshing uh from the music to the um the the story and just the the uh, creature the monster is pretty unique as well so yeah um highly recommend grabbing it on game pass if you're still designing um and definitely buy it if you want to support the studio because this is one of the uh, indie titles that i think is uh an easy uh easy buy if you want to support so uh yeah that will do it for me um an absolute uh fun of the game definitely going to enjoy it for uh for what it is here all right guys that will do it uh thanks for watching as always and i will see y'all in the next video take care for now For those who come after.